That's right, folks. This is a second Cowboys video today for you guys. We broke down some rumors earlier, but there's some big time news. Jameez Olawali has opted out of the 2020 season. He is not going to be playing, which means Shewo Alanalua, who we'll get to here in a second, might be the next man up at fullback. This does leave Dallas without a projected starter at the position. That was supposed to be Olawali, but, well, he's not going to play this year. Now, we'll break down what the Cowboys are going to miss without him, but one important note I want to mention right off the top, this does actually save some money for the Cowboys long term. This saves them $1.15 million in cap space this year, leaves about a, a 600 k uh, in dead money on the cap this year. Most of it rolls over to next year, where next season, Olawali will set to have it, is set to have a $1.75 million cap at 60 k of that is dead money. He might not play again for the Cowboys. That's, that's the way I view this contract. Of course, assuming I, I got all, all those numbers right, which I'm pretty sure I did. Look, he didn't make an impact last year, at least on offense. Just the one drop, and it was a painful drop. Two receptions in 2018. Was more involved back when he was with the Raiders 2017, 2016. Had some touches, some touchdowns, especially in that 2016 season. So offensively, the 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 lack of a Lawali isn't going to be felt as as much. He was an okay blocker, and the Cowboys didn't run that much 21 personnel anyway. However, where his loss will be most felt is on special teams, where Olawali was second in special team snaps in 2019. Now, C.J. Goodwin was by far their best player. He's back. Justin March fighting for a roster spot. Joe Thomas, Darian Thompson also back. I think those last two guys make the roster, but there's a real chance that when the 2020 season kicks off, the Cowboys are going to be without two of their top special team snaps from last year. Of course, special teams wasn't that good, so maybe not the biggest problem in the world. So before we break down a potential replacement already on the roster, let me know, are you upset at Olawali for opting out? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Now, if you want to be upset about the situation, well, I think we all are that this is not the normal offseason and, and preseason. We're missing out at least some football. But at the player... I mean, I get it. I get the concern there, so I'm not going to be upset. But cast your votes for me. Why for yes and for no. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So now the depth chart has changed at running back. A, Jordan Chun was already cut. Now the Cowboys had their third opt-out. Olawali joining Stephen Guidry and Maurice Canada, who, oh, look, all three guys might not have made the roster, quite frankly. That means Shewo Olanalua. That's a tough name. I'll say it again. Shewo Olanalua is next up at fullback. We'll see if he can win the job. We'll break down who he is because I liked him as an undrafted free agent at a TCU. But first, folks, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We do all kinds of videos every single day. We do news like this one. We'll do rumors. We'll do free agent targets. We'll do a bunch of draft stuff, post-game grades. No one will keep you more updated on your favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys, than we will here. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe today. All right, so Olana Lua, the next option here at fullback. He split time with fellow Cowboys undrafted free agent Darius Anderson at, 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 in the backfield this past year at TCU. He was a running back for the Horned Frogs. That's not going to be his role in the NFL. And I, I'm, I'm actually glad about this because when he was coming out and I was scouting him, I saw him the exact same way the Cowboys do. He's not really a back. He's built like a damn linebacker. He checked in at the Combine. At 6'3", 232, I think TCU put him at 240. He can add some mass if you want to, and I think he might be a little bit heavier than that if he makes the roster when the season kicks off and all that. He could be a short yardage back if you need him to be. He offers some passing game value. He's a fullback less in the traditional sense and more in the, of, of the modern-day sense, a player that you can give the ball to on the ground. He can catch as well, and frankly, his worst attribute is probably blocking overall. I view him as almost the H-back type, someone who will be able to help you out a little bit in the passing game. He's not going to be a lead back as frequently as, like, you know, a, a Daryl Johnston was in his prime. Now, that's not who Olanalua is. But I like him the most on special teams. I, that's why I actually had a draftable grade on him, to spend him a seventh-round pick is what I had him graded at, spend him at there, move him to H-back, and let him help you on special teams. Well, that's exactly what the Cowboys need to now replace in, in – Jamezo Lawali. So I'm not sure if the Cowboys will carry a fullback. You guys can get your votes in the comments. One for yes, zero for no. 
but I am excited to see if Alana Lua, through training camp, can find a way to make this roster and be the Alana Lua replacement. He's the only roster fullback right now. He's going to get first crack at that job. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.